Dave and Keaton here. Uh, today I'm working just a little bit in my uh, garden in the veggie patch and I'm gonna work on putting peppers in the ground. It's uh, maybe a little late. I like to put them in at the same time as uh, my tomatoes but uh, as I've, I've mentioned several times before I've been kind of busy so I have a couple minutes now so I'm gonna try to get them in today. Okay guys, so uh, I'm trying to do it pretty similar to the tomatoes, but uh, my uh, peat moss didn't mix in very thoroughly. So what I've done is I've opened up a trench where I've tilled the ground. Um, this ground was pretty soft to begin with, so I didn't work very hard on this. It was, it was just pretty, pretty nice. So, uh, I'll uh, open up a peat moss bale and I'll put some peat moss in here and then I'll uh, till it in just like I did for my tomatoes. Okay guys, so I got my uh, oldest peppers out and they're uh, California Wonders. There we go. And uh, as you can see they have uh, quite a lot of root mass. And they won't even uh, tease. They're pretty. Yeah. So uh, I don't usually like to get any of my plants uh, this uh, with this mature of a root system. I like them to have uh, plenty of room for their roots to expand. Um, I don't think any of my others are quite quite this big root wise yet they're uh, quite a bit younger so I'll uh, get these in the ground I might get a couple others and I'll probably have to to stop because I'm about out of time okay guys uh, one thing you may notice is I didn't bury the plant any deeper than what it was in the pot and uh, that's because, unlike tomatoes, uh, peppers won't root above on the stem. So, don't want to bury them any deeper. Um, it's just probably going to cause them stress. They're not going to be able to uh, dry out. And as far as I know, that hurts them. So, just bury them to where they were in the pot. Maybe if you have a washout like I did, kind of cover where the roots are exposed, and that's about it. And also, I'm uh, transplanting these in the middle of the day. Um, I don't recommend that. I recommend uh, early morning or uh, the evening because uh, the plants aren't trying to photosynthesize, and they're, they shouldn't be as shocked that way. But uh, I'm just kind of doing these as I have time. This is when I have time, so we'll uh, see if I have any problems with a midday transplant or not. Okay guys, so I got my much younger brown jalapeno. My handwriting is terrible. But uh, I don't know if you can tell, but you can just barely see roots on the edge. That's kind of how I like to, to transplant them. Uh, of course you got the risk of uh, your potting mix or starting mix settling on you and breaking roots but uh, the, the roots won't be restricted to expand and uh, make a nice big root system later on so I, I like to keep, put them in as young as uh, possible Okay guys, I think that's about it for my pepper transplant. Um, in case I didn't say earlier, today is uh, May 18th, it's Monday. And uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like, comment on the video, and uh, subscribe to the channel. God bless y'all.